Um, I can explain. <laughs> so excuse that amazing acting. Uh, this video is about Mitoma and the thesis that he wrote that all of the football world have been talking about. Um, he's been amazing this season. Uh, I remember his first game. Uh, he looked really promising and um, before the World Cup he was starting to shine. He managed to bench uh, Trossard and at the World Cup he didn't start too much but um, he made his impact for Japan still. Since the World Cup he's been class and he's been seeing defenders on their backsides. Now onto his video um, and mainly his thesis. You can't actually read his thesis as it's only available to Japanese university students. Um, and, and I am not a Japanese university student, but um, after extensive reading and research um, on articles related to the thesis, I managed to get some information. So his thesis is related to data processes behind attacking positions in 1v1s, and the test that he used was um, applying a GoPro to his head. He would go through his own footage, focus on how the defenders would react to his dribbles, um, and other attacking positions. And there's a quote in there where he said, I'm conscious of shifting the opponent's center of gravity. If you can move the enemy's body, you win. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> How cold is that? But um, yeah, I had an idea to put a GoPro on my head already to see what a POV shot would look like playing football. But after hearing this and reading about Matoma's thesis, um, I wanted to do it too, to also analyze my own game. Now disclaimer, I'm not a Premier League level footballer so don't expect that level of quality but mainly pay attention to the method. Um, this footage is me looking at attacking positions and what decisions I took and what decisions I could have done better. Let's get into the breakdown and reminder to like and subscribe. So um, first things first, um, I'm glad that I'm scanning. Uh, I read that Xavi scans 50 times in a minute and uh, they say that the more you scan the better your pass accuracy is. Uh, over here I definitely ah, should have nice. taken it with my right foot or maybe slowed it down and over here I should have done a reverse step over to create some space and maybe finish it a bit easier. So over in this situation we've sort of got a 3v2 going on. I can see my teammate in the far left and I'm glad my te other teammate runs into the middle uh, and drags the opponent towards him, which gives my teammate an easy shot. What would you do? Shoot first time, take a touch and dribble pass, or pass it back first time? What I did was pass it back first time. Thank and I'm you. not saying that's the most optimal decision, but it worked out here. Finish it. <laughs> now over here, I think I should have played it more in front of my teammate so he could have shot first time. In this situation, I can see the opponent has a lot of momentum and he's anticipating me going towards the left. So I go right, and I attack the space and I pass it Please bang. So over here, I create some space and shoot a bit too early. I definitely could have gone a bit closer towards the goal and increased my probability of scoring. So over here, it's kind of like a duel. you got to get the ball as close to the opponent as possible and move before them. Bang it, please. Give me an assist. So we've got some more scanning, and I think I could have put a bit more power Bang. into this pass. So with my scanning, I've noticed uh, my teammate in the far left, open, free. Uh, so I try to get the ball to him. Leave it. Uh, unfortunately, my teammate gets in the way. That's it, well done. Bang it, but please. He gets the ball still, and he scores. So yeah. So this one has a bit of a hint at the beginning of the clip. But um, what would you do? Dribble at the defence, pass to a teammate, or hold up the ball to assess your situation? Um, I sort of hinted towards it here, um, so I passed it. I think that was the optimal decision. Uh, over here I spot my teammate and I thought it was the perfect opportunity for a switch of play. Over here I noticed the space behind my opponent, so of course you got to attack that. And then I uh, pass it to another teammate. So in this situation I let the opponent get as close to the ball as possible before I pass and uh, yeah he's free. So we got another one of these. What would you do? Pass a teammate in green who's closest to me, dribble past the opponent that's right in front of me or pass the teammate in blue in the far left. What I ended up doing was passing to the teammate in the far left. 
Over here, I'm really annoyed that I shot leaning back. I could have oh. even taken a touch and shot. See, in this clip, I noticed that my teammate is on the dribble. I decided to drag my defender away from the lane I was already in and it allows my teammate to no, no. You know, dribble into that lane and take a shot and score. Can't lie, there's not much analysis here. Uh, I saw his legs open Thank and I thought, yeah, let me try and pass it through there. Over here, I noticed my teammate in the far right and I can pass it to him right now. However, I want to drag my defender in, drag the other defender in and allow my teammate Thanks. more space ah. to do what he needs to do. So yeah, this is the last one now. Um, what would you do? Hold up the ball and pass it back? Drop the shoulder, cut in? Or hope your teammate has made a run and back heel it into the central area? Well, the answer is... None of them really. I just cut in and shoot. <laughs> yeah, and score. <laughs> I think this experiment was a success. I learned so much from going over my footage and I feel like I'm a much better football player as a result of that. If you enjoyed that, make sure to like and subscribe. But yeah, in a bit. You gone? Ah. Oh. oh, yes! Good goal.